Even with all our careful planning and meticulous rehearsal, <laughs> seems there's still a minute left in the show. <laughs> what do you make of that, Jeff? <sighs> yeah? So what are we gonna do? Well, I don't know about you, but, you know, two girls in 60s outfits, Tom Selleck, a pantomime horse, and a skeleton, that says, party time to me. <laughs> We could, uh, or we could just wait for the uh, boner pill commercial. Ooh. Mm. So, uh, did you enjoy the company of um, Tom Selleck this evening? Oh, yeah. Although I can't figure out why you're wearing those coconuts. Yeah, I don't see any point of the coconuts myself, I gotta be honest. Is it some kind of CBS censorship thing? Or you can't, you can't show a ginger nipple on TV? <laughs> so, sorry for blowing your cover there, Tom. He, he has unusually large areola. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A lot of people like that. Uh, I, I, have a, I have a large areola on one of my three nipples. It's so large, it just looks like one large areola. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit like I've just left a plate sitting on my chest. Like a, like a fleshy bullseye, if you will. Fleshy bullseye is a name that I used at one point in my life. I remember that, and I paid a lot of good money to see you. Well, there goes your minute. I was just thinking that, you know, when you have a kind of creepy, leering foreigner, you know, kind of ogling pretty woman, it, 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 it's pretty much the Benny Hill show. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Can you feel it when I do that? Yeah, do it again. <laughs> So, what, 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 anyone learn anything on the show tonight? <laughs> Jeff? I didn't learn jack squat. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be something. I think I learned something. I think whoever's doing the bookings for this show needs a raise. <laughs> Me saying that, of course, is not legally binding. <laughs> and they're not actually going to get a raise. In fact... Jeff? <laughs> did you just go... Poo -poo? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. That's odd that Jeff can make that sound, yet he has no lungs. <laughs> what Craig doesn't realize is that now I'm no longer gay after tonight's show. <laughs> What Jeff doesn't realize is it doesn't clear up just because a couple of nice-looking girls walk in. <laughs> what Craig doesn't realize is a little ointment helps it to clear up right away. <laughs> what Jeff doesn't realize is we're no longer talking about the same thing. <laughs> Bulls. <laughs> Good night, everyone.
get us out of here, Jeff. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. I learned on the show tonight, Jeff. What was that? Well, I always thought Tuyen was the naughty one and Lisa was the nice one, but it seems it's the other way around. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe the, uh, switch. <laughs> switch. You know, sometimes one's naughty and sometimes the other one's naughty. <laughs> like, here's the switch, you naughty boy. <laughs> I think You've just outwitted me. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. I was just talking about getting whipped in some sort of naughty... Uh, oh, never mind. Forget about it. Well, we, we've, uh, we've got to go, everybody. We have a helicopter to catch. <laughs> Good night. You know when I come out at the start of the show and I throw these uh, chocolate dollars into the audience? Yeah, yeah. Right? And sometimes they land in odd places. I just noticed one landed right in your cup. Look at that. Of <laughs> <laughs> course, it's, it's no good as a, as a chocolate dollar now because I've fingered it. Well, I always enjoy when you finger my chocolate dollar. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. We, we uh, uh, went on too long tonight. We only have time to say, um, claws up, little monsters. Part of the costume. All right. I never insisted on mascara. Look, uh, <laughs> great touch, though, girls. Thank you. Uh, look, uh, we uh, we uh, mess around on this show, and um, and we've done it tonight. But I want to take this uh, moment now to uh, uh, we're uh, we're bidding farewell to our director Brian McAloon, who has been directing this show uh, since Tom Snyder was doing it. He did it when Craig Kilborn was doing it, and he's been doing it for the eight years I've been doing it. I'm really sorry, man. He's uh, <laughs> he's been working at the Worldwide Pants Company that produces this show for 32 years, and finally he's got something better. Uh, it, it, it's <laughs> So he's moving on. We'd like to uh, wish him all the best in his future endeavours. Brian, it's been a pleasure. Godspeed. Thanks a lot. Good night, everybody.
that was pretty well directed there. You like that? Yeah, that was really yeah. good. <laughs> well, we, we learned a lot tonight, but what we didn't learn is actually Steve, who was on at the start of the show, it's his 21st birthday. Isn't that... <laughs> hey, I'm 50. <laughs> Anyway, here's the thing, Steve. Uh, all of us got together, the ladies, Jeff, the horse, both ends, and me. <laughs> we got together, and, and we're going to send you and your parents to the great showbiz restaurant, The Ivy, in Los Angeles, where you can eat for free. <laughs> Happy birthday, Steve. Good night, everybody. That's all we got time for. Good night, everybody. <laughs> if you stayed to the end of the show because you thought we were all going to get together and sing Rainbow Connection, I'm afraid you're wrong. <laughs> uh, we were going to sing Rainbow Connection, and I just heard at the last minute when I decided we wanted to sing it, and by we, I mean me, <laughs> that they said, you can't sing it, you, we, you're not, we, we can't clear it. And then Jeff said, Bulls. <laughs> so instead, of having Rainbow Connection, an American classic, which we're really good at. <laughs> uh, we are now going to have Jeff's rendition of a cat. <clears throat> a one. Oh, no, wait, sorry. wait! I, that was a premature cat. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three.
Welcome back, everybody. That's nothing to do with me. <laughs> we didn't have time to do all the stuff that everyone get dressed up for. <laughs> but it looks good. Doesn't it look good? <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. The mouse is now in the witness protection program. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> well, we had a comedy bit we were going to do, and the boys got all dressed up, and uh, <laughs> we didn't have time to do it. <laughs> so there they are. <laughs> Getting that college credit. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. They're from Edinburgh. <laughs> no, I feel bad about myself. Why is that, Craig? Well, I did something naughty. What did you do? Well, I, you know the Scottish lesbians that were on the show? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if they're really lesbians. They just sat in lesbian row, but they don't know. They're from out of town. Well, you've tricked these people. <laughs> Oh, but one of them called me scum. <laughs> well, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Well, here's the thing. I kind of liked it. <laughs> Does that make me twisted and weird? No. It makes you perfect for this show. Good night, everybody. Good night. Allow people to do a disco dance. Well, that's that's what we could do. All right, I'll hold the. Do you want to do the disco ball? Sure. Right, I'll hold it above your head and you do a little disco dance. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. 